Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You just need two sets of radar. You need your geo radar. All right. Well, thank you all very much for coming. Let's see. Um, I think what I'm going to do today is we're going to do some kata, and then I want to split the group in half. And I'm going to take some of the group and because I, I think we want to take some time and re do a omote review and kind of make sure we got everything. And then for some of the other people, you just need to practice some kata for a while. So um, I think what we'll do is we'll get two or three kata in and then we'll practice them. So let's go ahead and we'll begin with the uh, bow. <clears throat> Shomeni, right? And then we'll bow to each other. So tagaini, right? All right. Um, let's see. We also, who wants to do kihon? Anybody want to do kihon? Wow, look at that. So we're going to do some kihon too. So, um, <clears throat> and we're going to do them real quick. I'm not going to spend a lot of time. The, the kihon we're going to do today are <clears throat> what we call sometimes the traps. And they have to do with being underneath the sword and driving it down, driving it out, or following it in. So, um, first one is called Kuritsuke. Kuritsuke is to, uh, um, to sweep in and uh, attach. Alright, so Kuritsuke, the uh, beginning method is to step out and grab the end of the stick and then step in and bring this up. What I want you to think about is if I have an attack coming down this line through my center, um, I'm going to step off of the line. And what that does is it puts the end of the Joe um, where the person's wrists are. So I think we did this last time and it's a powerful technique. So together, Kuritsuke, yoi. And then trap down to the hips. Hajime. Eight. 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 Okay, when you're here, backhand should be up, the front end a little bit lower. There you go. Again. Eight. 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 And then Yame. To the front with the hand straight. Motoi. This way. All right, let's back it up. <clears throat> okay. And second one, Krihanash. Krihanash, we're going to come over here. Same starting position. This time, this is Gyakte Kamai. So I'm just going to take and throw over to Gyakte Kamai. All right. Krihanash. Yoi. Hajime. Eight. 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 One more. Eight. Then Yame. Motoi. Okay. And come back. And third one, real brief. Same starting position. This time the sword is going to come up and I step underneath with a little bit of a rising motion. And then I'm going to push through with my bottom hand. So don't try to crunch with your shoulders. Try to uproot them with your hips. Tai okay? Atari. Yoi. Hajime. Oh. Oh, again. Oh, yame. Motoi. Okay. All right. So um, one thing to keep in mind when you're doing these is that the kamai, the postures are always consistent. So if uh, this is my uh, honte kamai, and this is my gyakute kamai. Well, when I do this movement, 
it's going to be the same position. It's not, you know, and not, not going to be different depending on how I get there. Um, so always try to make sure that when you do these, this is consistent, right? If I'm here, I'm doing this. Still, same posture as I would have normally, okay? All right, um, so yesterday we did um, the third kata we did uh, Tsukizue. So um, let me get Chris and John Kirby to come out here. I want you to grab a sword. I want you to demonstrate Tsukizue. Do you remember this one? This is the one where you drop out, tack here, tack again, tack again, right? Okay. Hey, Hajime. great. That looks great. I could probably quibble a little bit. I think your, your ankle tend to be a little bit outside and that pulls the hip out. But um, yeah, very good, very good. Okay, um, we're going to pick up a few more kata. Now the next one in the sequence is called Hisange. Hisange is out of this position and it uses these traps that, that we were we were just you doing so um, and that's kind of meaty let's let's get uh, Dale can I get you to grab a a uh, sword Sword. Or a yeah grab a sword yeah you got it Joe oh, a short swords fine yeah in the core you in the in the core you system this is done with a short sword in Saite they do it with a long sword but it's the same idea so here my Kamai is this. So what I'm doing is I'm going to take and drop back and I have the end of the joe kind of right on that notch behind my ankle and I have the tip of the joe tucked up into my shoulder. So it's hidden from him. When he comes to attack I'm going to take my shoulder and pull the tip of the stick right to him and as he comes in to set I'm going to make my distance here. Now, he's going to compress distance by sliding forward with his right foot. If I don't move, he's going to cut my fingers. He's going to cut my hands off. So I'm going to, when he compresses here, I step back. Now you take a left-right step to attack. Here. Let me uh, do this better. Yeah, there we go. Come in here. Sorry. <laughs> I start up. Yeah, there you go. And tip to tip, there you go. So what's going to happen at this place is as he compresses, I step back to Hikiotoshi Kamai. Now, when he comes in to attack, I'm going to step off the line and catch him. Trap him here. And then as he starts to, he can't attack me here. He's stepping backwards. I give him the pop and finish. Ikiotoshi, right? Let's uh, turn and we'll do it one more time on this side. Hisange. Okay, so um, we we'll do that as a group. Just do by the by the numbers here. Let's do that. Well, um, so uh, Courtney and Tony and Brian, why don't you grab a short sword and we'll play that one just a little bit. And then we'll break off and practice. All right.
Okay, so get yourself an uke or uchidachi. Hey. Yeah, need some room. Okay, so first, hisage, the kamai, hisage no kamai is to bring the stick back behind you. And notice I've, I've got a little bit of bend in this knee. I'm, I'm not retreating. I'm not afraid. I'm, I'm holding a strong position. Sword comes in. Hajime. Turn that stick towards his eyes. Run it in a line straight up to his eyes. And now when you meet the weapon, feet are together and you come back. So this way. One, two, catch it and slide back. Good, good, good. Okay. Sword slides in. Step back all the way, drop back into Hikiotoshi. Now, the sword is going to take a step with the left foot and raise. Uh, point your foot at her. There you go. Yeah, just walk. And now strike with your right foot. And at the moment that strike comes, you step sideways and then come up into his hands. Yeah. So you're going to be, yeah, in that position. Hey, and over, yeah, good strong posture. Shoulder blades together. Which hand is higher? Which hand of the Joe is higher? Okay. Yeah. A little, so, bit, a little bit in here. So this one, the point yeah. down. Not okay. Yeah, yeah. Here. Yeah, a lot of times this will look like this. Okay. You can adjust here. This one is always going to be, this hand, if you remember, is always one fist away from your head. So now this one. Yeah. So you might need to be a little, yeah, change your distance. All right, everybody looks okay. Think about, put your fist on my fist. No, don't just, here, here. Nice. Not this way, but this way. Yeah. So this hand is almost straight up in back. The front hand is almost on your forehead. So uh, you want to adjust your where you're gripping, make sure that you've got a good position here. Hey, right. all right. Yeah. Okay, so now go in the trap. So you step forward and this is gonna lift by itself. You don't push up, it's not a weightlifting thing. But as you start moving forwards, his arm is gonna rotate backwards. So you start and go, 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 go. Drop it into his Hips, yes. And then this, you want to roll that hand, roll this grip this way so that you're pushing into his wrist. Yeah. Okay, good, good, looks good. Now the swordsman, you're going to turn your heel to come out in front of that stick, but uh, you don't really have anywhere to go, so you're going to take a step back. And you, Joe, turn your hand over. Front hand turns over into pushing position, and now give him a pop right in the. Yeah, knock him back. There you go. And then, when you when you hit him here, what you're going to want to do is boom, and then this push kind of bounces it back into hikiotoshi. And I want to show you something. You push, and then watch my back hand turn over that back hand as it comes back. So push, open the back hand, drop it into Hikiotoshi, and then finish him off. All right. So turn your front hand over, give him the push, open the back hand to set the weapon, and then big Hikiotoshi in the eyes. Right. Very good, very good. Okay. All right, let's do that one more time again as a group. Back, back, back. Hisange, yoi. Hajime. Yeah, feet together and then adjust to the proper distance backwards. So yeah, so this way. One, two, three. Yeah, there you go. Okay, sword comes in. Go ahead. Back out, get out, get away from him. Yeah, 
Hikiotoshi Kamai to the side up. Yeah, so w when I was here, what I did was I went this way. Yeah, so here and then up, 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 up. Now, go ahead and do the trap, come over the top, drop it in. He's halt. Yeah, good, 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 good. And. Nice. A little more forward. This hip in. Yeah. <coughs> Here. Yeah, if you have this foot out like that, you see how it kind of pulls the hip back. I want to. Uh, yeah. Hey. And put away the stick, which is one, two, three, four. Okay, okay. All right, now we're going to change up our, our order a little bit. And uh, I think what we'll do is um, let me get this side of the line to um, go down to that, that end. And I want you to practice those two kata, uh, Tsukizui Hisage. They have, they're different. They have a lot of material that they cover. So I think that'll be. Uh, uh, good uh, workout. Um, we need to get you guys a couple of swords too to practice these. So let's. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you got a sword. Here you go. I'm good at casting those. Yeah, good, good. All right. And uh, for the. Tachi Tosh. Okay. What do you think? Well, I used, you said that this needs to be here. Yeah, that was a little whippy. It was a little that business. It needs to be kind of here. Yeah. And the main thing that you want to feel for is engaging your whole body. Because if I'm doing this, then all I got going is a little bit of shoulder in it. And at the last moment, you know, maybe I, you know, I'm moving, so you've got that, but it's not pulling the body with it, okay? So one more, let me get Courtney, why don't you? We'll do this drill. Okay. More <laughs> too far, not You're, settled, okay. Yeah. So what you want to do, it, and think about this, this is from, from here, big step. It's, it's really funny, one of our, uh, one of the teachers in Japan is named Abe Sensei. And Abe Sensei is about probably five, two, something like that, five, if that. And he'll be at your standard distance and he will teleport into your face and you don't know how he got there. Um, but uh, don't, don't, don't control your step so much because if I'm out here, throw your foot forward. Your back foot's going to follow. So big steps, big steps. These are the weapons that Joe actually stretches your steps. You know, when I do the walking, the Aikido walking, you know, little steps for big results. And then I do Jodo and I'm out here like this. So, hey. How do you feel? Better, but not good. Not. Oh. Yeah. Hey. 
this moment here where I bring this round where I pop you in the face one more time. Okay, yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, Tony. Subawari. And, and I'm going to take a, a page from Matal Sensei's uh, playbook. Ask questions. Anything you have, you know, if you want me to talk about, just, just ask and we'll, we'll, we'll do it. By the way, this right here. So, no, d yeah, you're turning your you're turning your body fr from this place this way, <laughs> and just just pull this back. So again. Hey. Hey. Here, this should be over your head. Right. Yeah, here. Yeah. And then, oh, look at that. Not so much arm. Because the arm's slowing down your feet. Here we are. That's because you, you're trying to compensate for this energy up on top rather than having the energy come from below. Okay. So, Sabawari, this place, come on. Okay, and then, then your feet come together here. I'm gonna move this place. Now, from here, notice this is straight down the dojo, this is Basically, I'm 90 degrees feet, and when you come in, see how this foot's still, I didn't do anything with it. Mm -hmm. Then here, halt, hey. Okay. All right. So, but yeah. So you see that that movement. Okay. Um, questions on that one? Excuse me. Hey. Hey. Yeah. This should feel this this version. Think about letter D, and I'm using my, my body, my hips, to bring this up. And then from this position, boom, come in, come through. Okay. Eight. Okay, these are differences in Kihon, mm -hmm. and so, yes. yes, sir. Yes, sir. When you're retreating back, he has to be right on you to keep you coming back. But he's the press's edge yet. I'm moving back because he of his attack. The stick um, attacks here, attacks here, and attacks there. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, you're you're attached to me at that point. I need to be moving to him more. And also, I want you to look at if I have that. See how this is all coming from mm -hmm. only uh, from the elbows out. I'm trying to take that and use that. So um, all of these motions here. <clears throat> Um, it should have the feeling of um, that, okay. that I'm actually not 
this, uh, but this. Hmm? Okay. Hey! Feel how you, you just pulled up here? Think about, you have unbendable arm? How do you get the stick up there with unbendable arm? Is that, your elbow's bent. More. Big, 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 big. Oh, look at that. And then hold here. I come off and uh, raise that so that it's pointing at my eyes. You want a very positive attack. You might make me think that if I, if I come in right here, I'm going to eat it. So at this point, I step back, and you're going to bring that up and come a little from above here. Straight arms out and compress here. Oh. Okay. And you see the, the surrender just off to the side. Okay. Okay, who wants to, we just did Hisaga. Who wants to do it? Hisaga. Wait. So uh, be careful about letting the stick come out sideways. You want to bring it, almost pull it through your shoulder. Nick would uh, probably say that you, the Tengu could pass it through their body, but we have to turn. So. Good. Now, fix your, there. yeah, yeah. and, there. no, no, don't move the hand, get there. this, and uh, straighten. You, you, there? Yeah, you're not in danger, you're little, you can look at me. Maybe, okay, here? Yeah, now. Pin it, pin it here, roll that, yeah. That was nice, very nice. Okay. Do the sword part? 